Good morning and happy Tuesday. Welcome to our channel. I am going to make the boys waffles for breakfast because they want waffles. So I'm going to start that. Um, if you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie. My husband is um, Aurelian, aka Oreo, because a lot of people can't pronounce his name. <laughs> they call him Oreo. And my boys are Henry and Casey. They are upstairs, and that's why it's quiet in the background. They are playing with Xbox, so while they're upstairs, we are going to make waffles. That's right. Alrighty. So it's just a basic, simple, easy peasy waffle recipe. And my dad made these, and I start to make them, and there's nothing like a homemade waffle. Trust me. You guys, all right. First is two cups of flour. I think I know this off my heart now. Tablespoons of sugar. I have to buy more sugar. And low. Okay, and one tablespoon of baking powder, which I have to find. Teaspoon of salt. Right. Oh, I hope I have enough eggs. I might just have enough, which means if I want to make anything with these peaches right here. I'm gonna have to get more eggs. Oh, my goodness. Alright, one and a third quarter cup of milk. And yep. Alright, let's get the milk. What, kitty? I'm gonna have to buy some more milk too. <laughs> buy something. Just one cup. Yeah, for a quarter. There we go. And oh, six tablespoons of uh, oil. I just use vegetable. Basel oil. Okay, and two eggs. Oh, <laughs> just enough. Two left. Okay, now this isn't in the recipe, but I always add it. I do a teaspoon of cinnamon. And sometimes I add just a little extra. Okay, now before I mix that, I'm gonna get out my I gotta find it first. <laughs> oh, is it put in the crock pot? Who put it there? Oh my goodness. It's not where it goes. <sighs> so it's 
just a Cuisinart waffle maker, as you can see. It has been well used. <sighs> Very well used, so let's plug it in. And we'll get that going, and then I'm going to mix this up. Close my cupboard. Why aren't you closing? There we go. Got a pile of dishes to do. Oh, that never ends. Okay. And I've already had my coffee, but I probably will have a second cup. So if you have your coffee, enjoy it. I know. Henry uh, woke up at 5 o'clock again this morning. I have no idea why he's waking up that early. I wish he wouldn't. Um, you know, my tools. You know, I, I get it when it's his birthday, he's excited to our birthday party, you know, he was excited, I get it. And we're going to Toronto this weekend, but that's not until this weekend, and it's like he's up at, you know, five, between 5, 5, 30, and it's like, it's still dark in the room. You know, it's like, go back to bed. <laughs> but he just can't sit still. Why? I'm not talking about you. Grab a waffle plate, so when they come off, and they're nice and hot, we put them on there. Let's mix this up. We uh, used the ones in the freezer, so I had to make a new batch. So I will have to go to the store later. Like, I do have to go to Walmart and Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree to get stuff. So I guess I'll be doing that today with many milk and eggs. It's always something, even though I go shopping, you know, and I think, oh, I should have enough eggs. And it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> I use them all in this cake. That's where they disappear to, his cake. There we go. That looks good. Okay, right, anyway, I'm going to let this heat up and then start the waffle making. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday morning. It's kind of a um, cloudy where we are um, I'm not sure I did rain last night the car is wet so I'm not sure if it's supposed to rain more I'm guessing it is because it looks pretty cloudy and if you watch yesterday's vlog remember that squirrel I showed you with the bagel well I saw him this morning while having my cup of coffee he ran along the fence what looked like the other half of the English muffin so one English muffin goes a long way, but who knows if it's the same squirrel or if another squirrel, you know, took it. Because they all look alike. Uh -huh. Alright, there right. green light came on. Woo! Let's make some waffles. Okay, so I just take a half a cup, put some batter in there, fill it up. And that. I just sometimes I don't like fill up all the way. It just depends. And then, woo! And then I just take a spatula and kind of smooth, like, just smooth it out, or spread it out. And then close it. And we wait for that light to turn green and I usually have it between four and five it just depends how cooked you like it all right well I'll be back as soon as it turns green all right green means go oh, is it a, first one always sticks to the top it's weird all right mm, doesn't that look good guys all right I'm gonna finish making the rest of these and I will be back. Okay, how are the waffles? Again? They're disappearing. That must mean they're good. 
You got thumbs up? Thumbs up? Hey, thumbs up. Hey. Listen, thumb downers. I, we have enough of those. So, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Well, they must be good because they're disappearing. So, if you want more, let me know, okay? Waffle thief. Casey took a took one of my pieces of waffle. <laughs> hmm, something went okay. wrong. Google, oh, I wasn't seconds. talking to you. That is so rude, interrupting me, Google. Jay, I tell you, she has her nerve. <laughs> yeah. Nice, fluffy, warm. Delicious. I need to buy fruit though. Make it better. Mm. Uh, fruit isn't cheap though. It went up at no frills, frozen fruit. Or something now. To get some at Costco. Mm. All right, I'm gonna finish my waffle. Have a second cup of coffee. If you're having your coffee, enjoy. And uh, I've just, it, I had a big, big mug again. Um, there's no more coffee in the coffee pot. <laughs> I took care of it. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, I will be back. Whoops. Well, I'm off to do some errands in town to get some stuff we need for Toronto. I need to, uh, I want to see if I can uh, find an air mattress at Canadian Tire because my brother-in-law and his family, um, they live in a really nice condo. It doesn't feel like a condo. It feels like an apartment. It's really spacious. And um, when we stayed there two years ago, that their condo has like little kind of like a little hotel room for like family members to stay and uh, I think you're like we always you're allowed to stay like three nights and uh, that's what we usually do we stay three nights and that's what we're doing this weekend so yeah it's really neat how you know because we don't have to get a hotel room because we just stay with them so we save money on a hotel room and um these little little apartments like it's just like it's like a little hotel room for family members or guests because if you have somebody stay with you well they don't have to get a hotel they stay right there and it's pretty much just what you need a bed and the bathroom uh but we did find like the bed because uh, henry um slept over the first night with his cousin but the second night he didn't want to in case he didn't want to now they're a little bit older a couple years older so it might be different this year. They might want to sleep over. Um, but uh, just in case we will kind of want to be pure because we found the bed was like kind of too small. It wasn't too bad when we had just Casey with us and Henry stayed over the first night. But then when the second night when he didn't want to stay over, it was, um, let's just say daddy ended up sleeping on the floor. And even with two kids, like I was on, uh, I was on the edge of the bed. So I think the kids were the only ones that slept good that weekend, <laughs> you know, but it was all worth it in the end. But to be realized that, well, there's a closet and it's big enough to put an air mattress in. So I want to see if I can find one on sale at a reasonable price and we'll bring one with us just to be prepared now right now we are one kid less because about 10 30 my father-in-law called and he wanted him and my stepmother-in-law wanted to take the boys out um to lunch and they wanted to take them to to a place in Windsor called Yo-Yo's. It's a family center. They have like a ball pit. They have, um, a few, I think a few games and like a place where you can like climb the wall, you know, fun stuff like that, trampolines. And tr the kids have never been before. Yeah, we just never, you know, taken them there. It's all the way in like to come see. So it's, you know, it's kind of like, it's not really close. If it was closer to us, like, yeah, we, we, we would 
take them, but so they want to take them, but and Kenway didn't want to go, so I I don't know. Kids sometimes are just unpredictable. You think okay, they'll both go and have fun, especially when I went online and showed them pictures. You know what it looked like, and this is what you'll be doing. And nope, you know it just it he just wanted to stay home, so. He's at home right now with, with daddy and I'm going to sneak off and do errands and Casey is hanging out having fun with Mimi and Peppy. So, I don't know, kids are just unpredictable, you know, you think they'll do one thing and they do the opposite. So, what can I tell you? So, yeah, he stayed home. So, I'm like, okay, that's fine, you know, your brother will have all the fun and all the attention. So... That's fine. Yeah, Casey. He, Casey wanted to go. He wanted to go climb the wall. So I'm sure he's having fun, you know, getting all the attention. Well, that's how it goes. So I'm going to go to Canton Tire and probably Dollar Tree and Dollar Mama. And I do have to get to Walmart. So see how if I can get to all four places because I have to get cooking, baking something with those peaches. So let's go. everything I need it. I hope. <laughs> I never know. It's one thing. That's why I like to make a list and shop a little a few days early before we leave because if I do forget anything I can run back and pick it up. The only thing I did find was um, travel size shampoo and conditioner because Dollar Rama or Dollar Tree didn't have any and I had everything else, I needed travel size, but they didn't have that, and I took no check, no frills, well, no frills more, like a dollar forty-seven, and, or more, two dollars, depending on what, which one I got, so I'm just gonna see if I have, I think I have them, if I kept them, the clear um, containers where you just put lotions and, like, shampoo and that kind of stuff in, and just take that, but you know, because we just we're only gone for three days, and well, four days, so you know, we leave Friday, so you know, but we have about like, three days, so and so I came, came home, started to work on the peach, uh, peach crumble. I'm just waiting for the oven to heat up, so that will be for dessert, and of course, I was at No Frills and I forgot to get. Uh, whipping cream so but I'm um, like oh you know what we have ice cream in the freezer so that will be just as good as whipping cream there you go so that go in the oven the peaches were nice and ripe and I used them just in time if I waited any longer they would have gone too bad so in case he came home he had a fun time even they even stopped off at stopped off at a fruit stand and picked up some corn which we'll have tonight and about four peaches in here and some cherry tomatoes. So that was a nice little surprise coming home to that. He had fun, I guess, you know, he uh, he didn't play with any kids, you know, as soon as uh, other kids showed up, he just left and went somewhere else because he, he likes to, and he does this at school too. He likes to be by himself sometimes and just play by himself and nothing wrong with that. It's part of his personality. I was like that as a kid because my sisters are six years older than I am. So I was always playing by myself, you know, and sometimes I enjoyed it. You know, you're by yourself. It's peaceful. So he does that at school too and it's like you know he might grow a little bit but right now it's like you know what just let him be he's not bothering anybody he's happy he's just he's still playing just you know by himself but he still had fun and that's the important part right he had fun so I'm gonna wait until oven heats up and I will put this in the oven and I'll be back I have to deal with the mess behind me see that in the sink right there and on the you know, big mess so I'm gonna tackle that I'll tackle it really good <laughs> I'll be back
Okay, peach crumble is done. Fresh out of the oven. Just in time because I have to get dinner on. I'm going to do the corn we got. And hot dogs, mac and cheese. Easy peasy dinner. My kind of dinner. And I still got to tackle that mess. I need to go bippity boppity boo. If only that worked in real life. Okay, I'm gonna have my peach cobbler with a little bit of ice cream. Looks delicious. I keep wanting to say apple crumble. <laughs> Just out of habit. Uh, but it's peach. It came out a little juicy because it, uh, peaches, not apples, <laughs> were uh, really juicy. So, but peach juice is always good. Mm. That's really good. A little bit of ice cream. Perfect. So, I'm going to enjoy this. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great Tuesday. Hope you're staying cool where you are. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and make sure you watch my um, travel haul. I'll be putting it up after this one, and hopefully you enjoy that one too. So, we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see what adventure tomorrow brings, and we hope you have a great Tuesday night, and we will see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye for now.